Aye, now I have to explain why aluminium carbonate solution does not exist. And the same as sulfite, that's what I mean. So there's no a solution of a sulfite of aluminium and then of a carbonate of aluminium, neither do you have a sulfite in a solution state. But in very, very conditions that are not, we cannot attain, in laboratory condition, you can have aluminum carbonate, but it's not possible scientifically. Let's explain why. Now, let's take an example of aluminum chloride solid. So I have a solid here. If I put this solid in water, what it will do, it will break down water chemically, which we call hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means chemical breaking down of water. So if I, in other salt, for example, we get a sodium chloride guamaji, it will just dissolve. It will just dissolve to form sodium ion and chloride ion solution. Like chemi, we get aluminum chloride, it will not just dissolve, it will undergo a chemical reaction. So what it will do, it will chemically break down, break down water, that we call electrolysis of water. So what it will do, so this is aluminum chloride in water. So what it will do, it will break down water to a nitrogen ion and hydroxide ion. And this is, in English, you call it chemical breaking down of water. But in chemistry, you call this hydrolysis. In science, hydrolysis. So, so you will more chemistry than a scientist. So you you it will break down water to the two instead of just dissolving. So once it breaks down water into this, now we have a it get hydrated. Now here we have aluminium ions also, which are positively charged, and chloride ions which are negatively charged. So they are now become ion exchange. So this protects this, so there will be aluminium hydroxide but very little in concentration that there will be no precipitate. Because this solid is supposed to be insoluble. But the quantity is solitary. And then now here we have HCl. So this is now aluminum chloride solution component. That is the component. Doesn't exist just like work aluminum chloride back aluminum chloride in solution. This is the component of aluminum chloride. We can balance this. Okay, showing aluminum chloride hydrolysis in water. So we balance this. We put aluminum 1, aluminum 1, chlorine 3, chlorine 1. You put 3 there and the equation is... Then now there is hydrogen 6, aqua 3. Then the equation is balanced. These are liquid. These are solid. Now this is the solution of aluminum chloride. Now we have to use the Ukiandanga kwa lab, ufungua aluminium chloride, natuonga fumes. Hizo fumes inakuanga HCL. Kwa sabu maji, air inuwanga water vapor. So water vapor hydrolyzes the salt. So the HCL. Now, so nikeka sudi ya mkabuni ya tindani ya hapa. Nikeka sudi ya mkabuni, what will happen? That sudi ya mkabuni will react with this HCL. And this will form sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide. So when, when so you don't have a carbonate ion left. You don't have a carbonate ion left. So when you put sodium carbonate to aluminium chloride solution, due to the formation of an acidic solution, you get a sodium carbonate that now that you get a sodium carbonate solution to magnesium sulfate, I mean magnesium chloride, they will exchange ions. So magnesium will take the carbonate from magnesium carbonate which is insoluble and sodium will take the, the, the chloride or the sulfate from magnesium. But in this case, aluminium does not exist as free aluminium ion and chloride. The solution has an acid. So when you put this carbonate, the acid reacts with it. So if you ask, what do you see when you put a solid sodium carbonate in a solution of aluminium chloride? You will see effervescence. Carbon 4 due to the, the acidity. Because now it has hydrolyzes, they make the solution acidic, and the acidity is caused by the HCl. Now, this also happens with other non-metallic chloride, like phosphorus chloride. 
Unaweza kuuliza kwa nini Fosu Rural School alikiaka pale nje inatoa fumes. Kwa sababu ya it hydrolyzes in order to generate HCl. And the, the production of HCl ndio inafanyanga it produce you fumes. So this aluminum club behave like non-metallic chlorides. Pure behave like this. they form a acidic solution. So if uh, if this was a sulfite now, let me just replace it with S. Now the difference will only be that this will be sulfur form. That's the same thing. Na bianga wanafunzi wangu kabonde na na sulfite ni kama vitu moja. The only difference is that they give, they give in fact kulingana na mimi from one syllabus natakani kuwe na acid base, acid metal, acid carbonate and hydrogen carbonate, acid sulfite. Cuz Look at this. It's just the same thing. It's just sodium, salt, water, and sulfur oxide. So, so you cannot have aluminium sulfide because the acid will have re- consume the sulfide to form the gas. The acid inside the aluminium chloride. For more chemistry, we are going to get money to invest in millions of dollars. We are going to get money to invest in more things. Thank you.